Hello everybody. This video teaches how to install the DFL FRP4 Hitach. So this PC is installed with Windows 7 32-bit operating system. So to install the DFL FRP Hitach program, the first step is to connect the DFL FRP to the PC with the USB cable and with the external power supply cable. Next, let's go to the software setup program. You can download this latest program from the forum and then you just double click to open it and install it. Simply click next, install it. At this time, don't launch the DFL Hitach program because you still need to install the drivers for the device. Click Finish. So after you install the software program, go to the Device Manager. Here, you need to check under the disk drives you will find the PATA and SATA channels. So this means the two ports of the DFL FRP device work normally. They are detected normally within this PC. So on the other devices, we can find as DFL FRP was not recognized correctly. This is because the driver is not installed. So now let's install the driver. Right click update the driver. Browse the driver location. So you can select the driver parts from the DFL Hitach installation program. DFL Hitach the FRP driver 32 bit. Select next. So install the driver. Okay, so after the driver has been installed successfully for the DFL FRP, under the Universal Serial Bus Controllers, you will find the DFL FRP device. This means the driver has been installed successfully. Next, you need to install the COM driver. It's also very easy to find the COM port driver from your DFL Hitach installation folder. Here is the COM driver. So this COM driver has been installed successfully. As for Hitach, you may not install the COM driver because the COM port is usually not used. The COM port is mostly used for the Seagate and Samsung and Toshiba hard drives for the common firmware finishes fix. So for Hitach, you may not install this one and it works easier. So we have installed the device driver, the COM driver, and the two channels are detected normally. Now we can generate the registration file 
double click the DFL Hitach icon on your desktop. You will get message the device is not registered. You click OK, click OK. So you will say the file has been created. Please email to your sales representative. Just click OK. So here is the DFL Hitach registration file. You just need to send this file to your sales representative or the support at dolphindatalab.com. After that, you will get one DAT activation file for Hitach, such as this one. So you will get this file from your sales representative or from the support engineers from Dolphin Data Lab. So just copy this DAT activation file to your Hitach installation folder. Okay, find your DFL Hitachi installation folder and paste it here. So at this time, let's try to open the program again. Now the program is opened successfully. You can find the version and you can power on the drive connect the drive, power on the drive, and start using the program. See? You can check modules, you can operate on the drive with all the functions which have been done within the current version. Thank you for watching this video.